Nigerian Institute of Shipping has called for urgent actions to decongest Nigerian ports and re-establish a national career for faster development of the maritime industry. The leadership of the group highlighted these concerns at the shipping conference in Lagos, noting that the present terms of international trade is not favorable for Nigeria. Ifunaya Eze reports. The absence of a national carrier since the demise of the Nigerian National Shipping Line continues to cost the country billions of dollars in freight revenue. The Nigerian Institute of Shipping observes that there are limiting factors to the nation's shipping development. It knows that Nigeria's presence and impact is hardly felt in the global shipping arena, more so when most of the inbound and outbound cargoes in the country are carried by foreign shipping lines. You know, 90% of our crude oil is being lifted by, by foreign vessels, and they are nominated from the, from the, from the foreign, uh, foreign companies by portfolio brokers who just collect 10%, then they bring the vessel and we run, run it on FOB. So now I want us to run this condition on a vessel and run on CIM, where the insurance and freight can come to us. The problem of port congestion, especially with the increasing container traffic at the Lagos port facilities, calls for decentralization of the nation's port operations. The only final solution is for the, con the government to develop other ports. Cargo that's going to Port Harcourt should be, should be dropped in Port Harcourt. Cargo that's going to Calabar should be on the bottom. It's our last port to go to. So we take Worry, Port Harcourt, Lagos, Worry, Port Harcourt, and Calabar. Don't drop every cargo in, in Lagos. It is believed that a functional national shipping line remains critical to Nigeria's ability to hold sway in global shipping. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.